started like just over three years ago, just um, casual conversations of mutual interest into our brand, Fear of God, and uh, I've always been a fan of Nike, um, and um, the, the conversation was around what would be the best area of Nike to work around, and we talked about American football, we talked about soccer, um, even baseball, but uh, basketball was kind of dear to my heart, and um, we started with the story of basketball, and um, wanted to kind of re um, uh, propose something new in, in the footwear world um, that was performance in the sense that it was uh, performing like a Ferrari on the court and performing like a Ferrari off the court and didn't compromise on or off. And so um, that was the original idea and um, I hope we succeeded. I remember seeing a pair of Jordans, I think it was like in Mervyn's maybe back in, 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 uh, in California when I was in maybe fourth or fifth grade. And just seeing like the red and black colors and like how strong they were. It was like the, I hadn't seen a shoe like that before in my life. Um, and that was one of my early, early feelings uh, was, was, was fifth grade. Oh, I don't think we have one, man. <laughs> you know, that's why that's why I continue to reference Jordan and Agassi. You know, I feel like they're they'll they'll never be guys that impacted um, culture the way that they did from from sport. You know, I think that that now culture is influencing sport more so than sport is influencing culture, um, and it's kind of shifted. When I was growing up, we were getting. Um, all of our nuances and DNA from what the guys did on court, you know, from the way Agassi dressed, you know, when he played from Jordan and uh, biker shorts underneath his shorts and taking fashion cues um, from performance. And now it's kind of flipped the other way. So um, I just don't see that happening today. I think it's just the um, influx of information that we all have access to. And I, I think, um, you know, it's, it's we, we all have access to the best of design from luxury, the best of design from sport. And it only makes sense to, to kind of bridge the gap between these two different ideals and try and find out, you know, how do we land the plane in the middle and how do we take the best from a luxury perspective of shape and proportion and how do we take the best from a performance standpoint, from um, comfort and functionality, and um, and bring those worlds together. I, I love it here. I love it here. There's no. I wouldn't say I hate anything. Uh, I think every every city offers something different. I love the architecture here. It's beautiful. I love the gray skies. Um, there's nothing that I don't like about Paris.